What is good, great gang? We're here today. I actually got a new weapon, if you know what I mean. But I'm telling you guys, like, I've been kind of wanting for this. I've been searching around for a little while. And then it just came up one day. I was like, you know what? I think it's about time to get it. Let's go ahead and send it. And so here it is. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try to set y'all down here, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. First off, I'm just going to show y'all the box. It is a Ruger American Rimfire here, which means it is a Rimfire, but it's not a 22. It's actually a 17 HMR. A little bit different, smaller diameter than a 22. However, it's a whole lot faster. So I'm going to try my best to open up this box. Oh my goodness. What in the world? Oh yeah. Here we go. And then I'll go ahead, pull out the gun itself, and then I'll get rid of the box. There you go. Here is the gun. We'll pull it out here. Here it is. I mean, it's green. Some people may not like the green. It is bolt action, but the bolt is gone because it's actually still in the box. Let me go ahead and get that. Ooh. Some of you may remember that I actually have one that looks exactly like that, but it's in 223. They're literally the same gun, except this one's chambered in 17, and my other one's chambered in 223. Here's the bolt, actually. I'll go ahead and install that. I think we just lined it up. And, uh, yeah, there we go. The bolt's in it. It has a little magazine here. Kind of weird to get out, but... Here it is. It's like a little rotisserie, rotary magazine. I don't really know. But yeah, guys, that's basically where we're at. Not really going to get to shoot it a ton because it does have a scope on it. This gun doesn't even have iron sights. Let, let me try to show you a little bit more about it. So this right here is what I'm looking at. Has no iron sights, no rear sights, and nothing on the front, just a plain little thing. And it has a threaded barrel right there at the end. And besides that, boys, just a good old bolt action 17 HMR. Looking at it from the side here, it has a pretty big, looks like kind of a cheek riser stock here. I like it, guys. I think it looks really good. And it's actually really short. Like, the barrel's kind of short compared to most of my other guns. Honestly, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I feel like it could be a good thing. I mean, it's not really going to knock into a bunch of trees whenever I'm walking through the woods squirrel hunting and that is mainly what I got this for just small game like squirrels maybe a rabbit here and there and definitely crows definitely crows with this bad boy crows are actually one of the main reasons I bought that gun but now as you can see guys it does not have a scope on it at all so let's actually go down into my basement right now put on a scope and a few more accessories and then I'll tell you what boys we're gonna come right back out here and we're gonna sight this sucker in and start shooting stuff and now that we're sitting down here with the gun it's time to actually you know suit it up put the stuff on uh we have uh five things I'm actually gonna do to it right now before we shoot it at all. First things first though, we gotta put a scope on it. And even before we put a scope on it, we gotta put scope rings. Now these are kind of basic scope rings, but one thing is they have like a rail up top. That's for one of the other five things we're putting on. Okay guys, we just uh, ran into a little bit of a speed bump. So for some odd reason, do not ask me why, but this Ruger American Rimfire does not come with the standard Rimfire rail size. Usually, you know, they'll come right here and they'll be 11 millimeter because it's a little bit smaller, smaller gun. This one, not the case guys. This is actually a weaver mount, 20 millimeter. But that's no problem guys. I'm just going to have to go upstairs and get different rings. I guess that's not a really big problem at all. It's still going to work with the scope. Okay, I'm back. Got new rings. Let's try that again. Now for the scope, generally you'd be thinking, Dude, you're just gonna put a rimfire lead on, right? Well, no, I'm not actually. But what I am putting on is something that is not released yet, but it will be soon. It's another rimfire scope. I'm gonna tease it to you guys because I know that you guys are watching this video. Is it focusing? Rimfire Recon. It's different than the Elite. This scope is my dream scope. It has everything I want. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the gun though, and then I'll show you a little bit more about it. Cause this scope's not final, but it is looking amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this scope. Okay, but anyways guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this scope. Let's go for another time lapse. And there we go. First, first thoughts, yeah, it's kind of sitting back a little bit. Let me turn it around this way. Wait, you can see the KG at least. But the scope is sitting back a little bit farther than the rails up here, but I think that's okay. I've got it sighted in, or not really sighted in, but I've got it fixed up to where it meets my eye perfectly. Oh yeah, we're looking good. I want to show you the reticle, because the reticle is one of my favorite parts, especially for this gun. Now as you know, this is a 17 HMR. Super accurate, and even accurate out to range. So with mill dot, this is what I really wanted on this scope. Mill dots is really going to help me do everything I can with this gun. It's going to help me and this gun reach our full potential. Now I'm going to try to... Okay, let me... This is kind of hard to do. I think I can do it. Mm, yeah, there's a little bit. You can tell a little bit. It's got like the standard little mill dots. 
But those are not just standard meal dots. Those are the exact meal dots I wanted. And the ones that I think are the best. But now that we have this scope put on here, now we got two more, th oh yeah man. I originally said I had five things. I was gonna put this little mini red dot right on top of here, but then the rails didn't fit, so you know, we obviously can't do that. Or can we? Yeah, we can't do that. Okay, but now I still have two more things. One, of course, this is a crow gun. I'm planning on sitting on one corner of a field and shooting to the other. I'm gonna need a bipod. It does have the notch right up in the front for the bipod. I'm gonna slap this bipod on, baby, and we about to go out there and do some stuff with it. Ooh, there it is. That's what I was talking about a little bit, the short barrel. That's an extremely short barrel, guys, and even the bipod's kind of sticking out a little bit, but... Ready? We're ready to go. But one really cool thing about this bipod, nothing really special about this particular one, but it still allows me to put a sling on it. And as for the sling, we do have a KG sling right here. It's just a standard black one. And we're just gonna strap it on just like this. I'm gonna put the padded in towards the butt because that's usually how these guns balance out. Of course, if you'd like this stock or a Rimfire Elite, which is one of the Rimfire scopes that I currently sell, you can head on over to kindlegrade1.com slash shop or first link in description. You can go on over there and check out everything that I'm really talking about today. If you're wondering, this is the type of a uh, you know, little mounts that the slings come with. Just pretty simple. And so here we go, the finished gun right here. Pretty short barrel, then it comes down to a tripod right there. Hooked up to the tripod is a KG black sling. And then right up here on the gun, bolt action and everything. It does have the KG scope. Then right on back here, I'll turn it around, get a little bit different view from a different side. And here's what we see is the bolt action. I'll work it a little bit. Let's take this sucker outside and let's try to start shooting some stuff. Okay, we're finally actually outside. Here is the gun. I've actually sighted in last night. Here's what the groupings look like. Like I'm telling you guys, this very well may be. I don't know. This thing's stinking accurate. And this probably is going to replace that 22 that I've always been using squirrel hunting. Like I set up the target like probably 50 yards away. Just to sight it in. I was... It was accurate. I don't even know what to say. But anyways, guys. Here's the gun. Got a little scope cam on it. I've got a few bottles set up right out there. And there's actually a dove right out there beside him. But it's not dove season. I'm going to respect that. And I ain't going to kill him. Hey, got to love it. I'm going to put the ear pro on. Ear protection. Because that gun, it's a whole lot louder than the 22. And I don't even think they make subsonic 17 shots. Now, the magazine, I believe it holds 9. That right there's a 17 round. It's smaller diameter than a 22. The bullet itself is actually lighter than a 22. My 22s are 36 grain bullets. These here are only 17. So this is a lot lighter bullet, but it also moves about twice as fast. You can go ahead and load it up. Just stick it in there. Holds nine, which is pretty good. Just like that, we're ready to go. Put the bipod down for absolutely no reason whatsoever. And... <laughs> I'm gonna turn on the scope cam too. I've got five bottles set up out there. Let's go ahead and pop the first water bottle. That ain't good at all, is it? There we go. And I accidentally knocked over one of them, so we'll knock that one on the left. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. And, yeah, there we go. But, uh, yeah, guys. There's the 17. I'm ready to go score hunting. I don't know about you, though. Okay, guys, so right there after I turned this camera off for a second, I started just shooting a piece of board, like just a piece of paper, just to see what my groupings were. And I did put a few adjustments, but, uh, I was about 100 yards away with that 17 HMR. I put six bullets on one little spot, and I hit it, oh my gosh. This is probably the best I've ever done ever. This is much more accurate than my 223. So like I was saying, right here is the orange thing I was shooting. I actually knocked it off because half of it's gone now. And right here is my six shot grouping. I know it looks like four, but that's literally six shots, guys. I don't know, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not sure, but that's a six shot group at 100 yards. That right there with the 17, guys, that's kind of crazy. I didn't even know that was possible. But I tell you what, guys, apparently it is. And I am not about to complain. That is stinking awesome. That's so good, guys. Like, there's a squirrel right out in the middle of my yard. I don't know what he thinks he's doing, but he's about to mess up. Oh, snap, there he goes, there he goes. He's over there. Oh, no. can you see him? Oh, there he is, there he is. He's right there. He's on that limb. Tell you what, son. If it was squirrel season, he had messed up. 
He don't know who he's messing with. He's messing with a stinking gray gangster with a 17 HMR. That's who he's messing with. He better watch out, son. He'll be dead meat here in a few months. Yeah, that's right, Ricardo. I'm talking to you. It's like they think I'm playing a game or something. I said they think I'm playing a game or something. Hashtag KG12 Man. Thank you so much for watching this video. Always remember, hashtag Jesus and hashtag Greg And while you're here, you might as well just hit that subscribe button. And if you want this awesome merch, go to candlegray1.com slash shop.